Friday night in Los Angeles, the Cincinnati Reds miscommunicated and misexecuted a double switch in the bottom of the seventh inning, the second time in as many years that a double switch has gone sideways at Dodger Stadium. Could it be that the music is too loud? Following a home run in the bottom of the seventh inning, Reds manager Jim Riggleman approached home plate umpire Alan Porter to effect a double switch. Replacing pitcher Austin Bryce with reliever Amir Garrett, and replacing outfielder Jesse Winker with substitute Adam Duvall. Incoming pitcher Garrett would bat in Winker's number one spot, while incoming outfielder Duvall would bat in Bryce's number eight spot. A strategic move as the number eight spot was due up second in the top of the eighth inning. Instead, what actually happened is that right fielder Scott Shebler, who batted sixth and made the final out of the top of the seventh inning, assumed that he had been substituted for instead of Winker, and Shebler exited the game on his own volition while Winker moved from left to right field to play in Shebler's old position. Dodgers bench coach Bob Guerin, who has experience with substitution snafus and lineup card issues, having similarly caught Twins manager Paul Molitor on a poorly executed and erroneous double switch in 2017, alerted manager Dave Roberts, who, after ensuring that Yasiel Puig had taken a pitch from Garrett, approached umpire Porter with information of the Reds' mistake in keeping Winker on the field. As a result, the umpires invoked Rule 5.10D, which states, if such direction to remove the substituted for player occurs after play has commenced with the substituted for player in the game, then the substituted player shall be deemed to have been removed from the game in addition to the removal of the substituted for player and shall not enter the game. In other words, this means that substituted for player Winker in right field was directed to leave the game, and Shebler, who had erroneously gone to the bench, was also forced to remain out of the game, thus depriving the Reds of his services and creating a vacancy in right field, which Cincinnati filled with Alex Blandino, a player who had never played a major league game in the outfield. Unfortunately for Los Angeles, this crafty catch may have come too late, as Cincinnati won the game 6-2. And as we go, posit this, though we made the statement in tongue-in-cheek fashion last year, now that it's happened a second time in less than a calendar year at Dodger Stadium, is the music there too loud and causing disruptions in communication amongst managers, players, and umpires? <laughs>